Hi everyone, this is Maria and today I want to share with you some junk journals that I made for my granddaughters using composition books. To make these junk journals, I used just these regular composition books that you can find at your local dollar store. So anyways, while I was making these four journals for my granddaughters, I got to thinking of the novel Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. It made me think of the characters in the novel, Joe, Meg, Amy, and Beth, the four sisters. And so anyways, these are my four granddaughters, and so these are my little women. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the inside of this junk journal. The cover says, True Happiness is Found Within the Heart. And this is so pretty, and I just didn't add any embellishments to any of the covers because the paper was just already so pretty. I have some hot pink duct tape that I added to each one, some ribbon, really pretty from Hobby Lobby, and then I have all of these uh, clips here, these like paper clips with charms. And so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I have a closure here, just ribbon. And so here's the inside. There's a pocket on the front. And then I have some really cute cards in here. They can journal in there or add photographs. I have this really cute library pocket and this really cute tag that says Made with Love that I got these at Michael's. And let me show you the back inside cover. And so I did this with each one. And so the paper is just a little different. The colors are a little bit different. But this is a paper doll that I had a rubber stamp for. And then these little kites I picked up at Michael's a while back, and there's some more tags in here. And so some of them have the uh, little closet, the little wardrobe at the back of the inside cover, and some have it on the front. And so let's go ahead and flip through it. And so anyways, I have a lot of these paper clips, and these right here have like little typewriter keys. I got those at my friend's yard sale. I got a whole bag of them. And so the inside I used... Um, just some ink pads. Um, you'll see it on Tangie Baxter's video where she has you just crinkle up the pages and then you flatten them out and then you take an ink pad and you just go over it. And so I had these rainbow, it was by Colorbox, these rainbow color ink pads. And look at these little paper clips that look like coat hangers, so cute. And so I'm just going to show you the little clips. Now this is like a little, um, looks like a bobby pin with a little pink, some pink bling on there. I was looking for some more of those at Michael's the other day and couldn't find them. And so here's a tag I made out of some paper and there's another cute little um, coat hanger clip. And that one's really cute. It says dreams come true. And then I use these little clips that I found at Target with the little smiley faces. I really love those and just tied some ribbon to the top. And let's see, oh look at this. The little charms. I got those at Michael's. There was like, oh my gosh, I think like eight of them in a package for $1.50. And so I really like that. These paper clips are really cute. I also got those at Michael's. And so I'm going to be watching for cute paper clips now. There's another smiley face one. And let's see. Oh, these are really cute. I got these in the jewelry section at Michael's the other day. And this one says Dream. It's got a little charm that says Dream. And there's another little lock right there. And look at these, the little hearts. Oops, let me just right here. I just put these onto paper clips. And these were on sale. They were on clearance at Michael's in the jewelry section. They were like a dollar some. And so I couldn't pass those up the other day. There's another coat hanger. And let's see, I wish I had some other different ones, but you know, now I know I'm gonna be looking for them. I love these, I love them. I had so many, so I had plenty of those. And there's another one and then it says family right there. And so I'm hoping that my granddaughters will really love these. If they don't use them a lot right now, let's see, their ages are 14, then we have twins that are 11. And then the little one is eight years old. And so, you know what? They can use them as they grow. And there's the little closet, again, you know, with the little kite and some more of these tags. And so, anyways, I want to show you something else, too. So I wanted to show you how on some pages you put some scrapbook paper. You glue the scrapbook paper onto the lined paper. And so, towards the end, while I was, oh my gosh, I would think I was at the point of 
adding like ribbon and stuff like that, one of these pages fell out. And I was like, oh no. But then I thought, okay, let me show you what I did with it, okay? So here's my page that fell out. At first I was like, oh no. But then I thought, hey, why not make four tags out of it? I had four journals, and so I just split the paper into fours, and then I rounded the corners, and then I added some ink, um, some chalk ink along the edges, some pink, and then I had this rubber stamp that I had bought at Michael's in the $1.50 bins, and it says tweet tweet. I had the lined paper already on there for journaling, and so I got four journaling tags out of that. So sometimes what seems like a disaster at the moment, you know, if you give it a second, you'll come up with an idea on how to fix it. So there's the tag. I just tucked it in right underneath one of these really cute coat hanger clips. And so I think it looks really cute there. So there you have it. The four junk journals for the little women in my life. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.